A lot of people keep asking me, what am I driving? So it is a 2012 BMW X5M. It's kind of like a sleeper. It um, has a lot of horsepower, like a crazy amount of horsepower. But yeah, this is what it is, because I see the comments. So this is what I'm driving. All right, so we are back on the prowl. Now, as you can see, downtown Atlanta is kind of empty. It's not a lot that's going on down here because it pretty much the sidewalks roll up and it is a done deal. You've got some corporations down here, but most of the corporate headquarters are in my neighborhood. We'll get to that later. But you've got what is that? Is that the courthouse? I mean, Monday through Friday, this is not as easy to navigate. It's crowded. There's a lot of people around. That's one of the reasons that I came down here today, just to kind of get it out of the way. Because the downtown section of Atlanta is somewhat of a ghost town after dark and after working hours you'll see a few people you'll see some homeless people you'll see a few things but once uh, the, the these offices close and there's a lot of government work I forget is that the equitable building in front of us now with that said I would love to own one of these buildings I would love it <laughs> I mean oh man I remember coming here when I was poor there is a check cashing store that's, I think, I don't know. And you notice that all of the storefronts are have roll down doors. And this is Five Points Marta Station. And to the right is Underground. And let's see, I used to. It's a, it's a trip navigating in there. It really is. All right, so over to your right, you'll see Georgia Tech. Not Georgia Tech. Georgia State. Man, they don't know 22s. They're rolling. This clock's been here forever. Okay, we're going. You got George Pacific. You have that Walls Greens has been there forever. Now, these buildings, I, like I said, I would love to own one of these buildings because even though downtown Atlanta, okay, Georgia State stuff over there, uh, the money that they make because, like I said, you got a lot of government things in here, and this one building on the corner is actually residence. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting because you have people who live down here. Some of these old buildings, they've converted to upscale condos and you'll see people walking around and believe it or not this stuff's cheaper down here than where we're gonna eventually end up because downtown like it looks like we're still in downtown now <laughs> pay attention because uh we're not gonna be in downtown long now this is clearly some residences or is this a hotel I don't know but I really don't know and this is still we're still in downtown it's got some interesting charm then over here well you can't see it but I used to spend a lot of time in that library which is kind of back there the library was very well equipped all right and Peachtree Center Marta Station and we're out of downtown. <laughs> now we're getting into the outer edge of Midtown. And you'll see that 
a lot of things have changed a lot of things have uh, you see that the the complexion of the people walking around has changed you see there's a lot of young and old suburbanites who've moved into downtown into these older buildings that they have turned into condos now there was one I'm gonna tell you a little dirty little story maybe not so dirty I can leave that out but this is kind of the beginning of Midtown it could be considered downtown but where is this building I'm trying to see it uh, I actually used to work at the Powertail or T-Mobile or whatever it is in Peachtree Center and that was uh, a source of a lot of stories but notice things have changed considerably right <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, this building right here on the corner you used to date a girl that lived in it and it has been re I mean it's it's very vintage it's very vintage it's very rustic and the Ritz she was doing because she was here as a contractor she was doing probably thirteen hundred a month for a two bedroom with a small kitchen and stuff and she was probably on the 13th floor but once again notice that the complexion has changed drastically from downtown Atlanta to the tip of Midtown and once we cut through here apparently they're having some cheerleading competition now, there's a lot of hotels around here I used to work in the SunTrust building I actually had a friend I need to check on her because she she worked the Sun Trust for about 14, 15 years, and she just got this killer job. Killer. Like double her income, and she was already making six figures. So, very, very nice upgrade in her life. I used to work in the Sun Trust building at the Gallup organization, which was on like the 22nd, 23rd floor. And you just can't go in there and go into an office. You, you they, There's a key card. And this was in the 90s, so I'm quite sure it's even more high tech than it was now than it is than it was then all right can you see it probably and we're clearly about to go straight up into midtown now if you notice this is where a lot of the development is this is where a lot of the housing is it's fairly interesting because downtown Atlanta other than its corporate presence it doesn't have much going for it I mean, underground is not underground of old. Years ago, you go to underground, you, you have your friends, your family. Now, we're definitely in Midtown. You'll see Crawford Long, or what used to be considered Crawford Long. Now it's Emory Hospital. And then we're gonna get to the Fabulous Fox. And I just want you to see the transformation from downtown Atlanta to Midtown to center midtown it is so remarkable I would love to own that building because even though it's old it's money and the thing is for any of you who are in the real estate if you ever get the opportunity to buy a commercial building do it do it there's so many ways you can make money with that so I guess this is Emory University Hospital Midtown that's funny. It used to be Crawford Long. Um, I think Gladys Chicken and Waffles is around here somewhere. Or it was. Not sure. Because I remember this chick I used to date. I used to do a lot of dating. That's why you're going to hear me reference that. Because uh, when I talk to other people, I realize a lot of folks haven't done that amount of interacting and personal relations just not okay so you can see that that's the fabulous Fox and I gotta tell you back in the day that was an awesome date spot you know for those who know what dating is uh, I know some of the younger generation who are watching this they're, they're not, <laughs> not gonna know what dating is they're not they're not gonna have a clue uh, a date would be you get dressed put on your shoes she puts on their heels she dresses up she smells good you look good she looks good you go out, you have dinner, you catch a show. I saw In Vogue, Freddie Jackson, Jeffrey Osborne. I, 
so many acts at the fabulous Fox. I mean, it, it was an icon. I guess to a degree it still is, but there was a lot of good times there. Now, this building, they're renovating, and they're, these are all over here to the, to the right are gonna be apartments. Now, the Mayfair, they turned this old apartment building, well, I guess it's always been a hotel, but this is a serious hotel. I mean, it is serious, the Georgian Terrace. It's a serious hotel. If you ever get a chance to stay in Atlanta, uh, they like little apartments and suites. It's kind of swank. It's kind of pricey. It's like three something to five something per night. But if you get a chance, you should do that. Now, we're in Midtown, right? Notice the difference. Notice it's cleaner. Notice that a lot of the older buildings have been torn down and they've built a lot of skyscrapers. And it's, it's funny because I think that Midtown is a buffer between Buckhead and Atlanta. I, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's just the way that I see it because the price differential between those buildings and condos that I, we saw in downtown Atlanta on the edge is twice or three times the, as, um, as less as these are. Uh, these bad boys go for bank. I mean, 1,500 for a, for about 400 square feet. I am not joking you. See, you got folks here riding the bikes. It's a totally, oh man, a quick trip? That should tell you something. Quick Trip is a very smart company. Quick Trip does not put its stores in places that they can lose. They don't do that. So I should tell you something about this area, how it's up and coming. It's very white. I, I'm just gonna say that. It didn't used to be. It used to be very gay. And when I say gay, it was very black gay, white gay, Hispanic gay. Probably on some of the side streets it still is, but this whole drag was like that. And that used to be the Georgia Department of Human Resources. I had to go in there and get certified for my medical laboratory technician certification years and years ago. But, oh, this ain't nothing. This is just the beginning of Swank. As we keep going, because what happens is as you go down the street, it's gonna get more and more expensive, more exclusive, more high end. And this is really good for me. That used to be a Starbucks. <laughs> now it's something else. You're gonna see so many things. I mean, there's a, like, if you like new restaurants, you like trendy stuff. Now what's funny is in this area, you'll see some old buildings, like that white building there, this building, uh, which has a law firm in it, because it used to date a chick who worked there. And she had some really nice legs. I mean, like, oh my God. Not so great of a personality, but her legs were the bomb. So you're gonna get, and why are you just sitting here? Okay, I don't understand that. Now I do. So you will, now this is clearly a new building. I looked at it. I think it's the mezzo, not sure. About like three grand for a two bedroom up in there. If you can rent one. Uh, I think it's a condo. So it's Midtown. And you just now, that building to the left is, because Piedmont Park is just over there. I mean, literally half a mile away is Piedmont Park. And then you would have so many because if i was going to live downtown and i didn't do buckhead i would live here you have easy access to the highway you can get to the park really quick and you've got some killer hotels around here there's the w over there and it's a really really swank area because the residential area that's behind this those are mostly million dollar homes Alrighty then, that was special. And I think that was a training. Uh, this 
you can actually rent office. Oh, WeWork, they got that. There was a, you can rent offices in there, WebMD, very interesting. Now, we're gonna come up toward the High Museum of Art, which is, I'm probably gonna just do a tour there, because I like art, I think it's cool. So that's it to the left. And if you want to date, they have a lot of free programs, make you look smooth and sophisticated. I mean, seriously, just go to the website, see what that's got going on. During the summer, they used to have screen on the green, which I don't think I'll be able to show you unless I actually take the camera down. And it was like awesome. There, there's a lot of free stuff to do in Atlanta if you know where to look that makes you look sophisticated. It makes you look you know, and it, this is like one of the first signs of spring because today it was like 70 degrees and all of the motorcycle clubs come out. There was one, it must have been about 80 bikes deep. I don't know if that was one club or two clubs. But yeah, they still got that. I used to work, which building? That's new. The building to the right. And that is definitely residences. So I forget what was there, but they, they tricked that out. And the, you know, for those of you who like the Alliance Theater, it's over there. And that's the museum. Older buildings. So we're just going through Midtown. Notice that it's just really different from downtown. And there's so much money here. There's a crazy amount of money here. There's a lot of tech companies. Uh, WeWork has offices here. And where WeWork goes, and there's a new building that's going up, because the co-working spaces align their business model into placement where areas are going to grow. They don't put them in areas that are already mature. So if you see a WeWork or something like that, know that further growth is coming. A lot more. Now we're about to hit Buckhead and you see how big Midtown is compared to downtown. Downtown is just like a hiccup because we're still in Midtown. Everyone's got their lights on, it's not that dark. Not in my opinion, but I could be biased. See that steel case ahead? That's actually an office furniture dealer. That's, they've been in that location for like forever. They get the nice juicy jobs. Yes, I still have some of my office furniture chops. Very old, very historic. Um, I think there's a homeless shelter around here. I'm not sure, but I think there is one. over all this is new luxury apartments they don't even they don't even play with it it's like look we're luxury apartments that's the name luxury apartments and the rent here is sick just let you know and you notice how much nicer it is for a longer period of time than downtown Atlanta now I think downtown Atlanta is gonna come back once the prices get to the point where they're just too irresistible to ignore. But the way that I see that they're building, because what they're doing, and I'm not gonna do it today, but I'm gonna do a Buckhead as kind of like a special, a special video. It deserves its own video, because I know, it might be two or three videos, because I don't know where the nooks and crannies are. I know where you can get really cheap stuff. I know where you can get crazy stuff and I might if Burma will let me do it I'll tell you a little story uh, when I thought I was gonna be a reality television star I would have had the first storage auction show I was looking at condos now this was like 2000 uh, 10 ish or 11 ish and these condos in the sovereign which is the most expensive and exclusive condos well close to it 
they were like 750,000. I know that sounds like a lot, but these they're now like 1.5 and 2 million. So I was trying to get in there. <laughs> in Burma, she met me and she was real nice. I may call up and like, hey, I don't know if you remember me. But yeah, uh, I, I'll do that as a special type deal. Morning Star Storage. Oh my. Like I said, I haven't really done this. So this is like good. Art Thomas, that's a vegan place and they have all kinds of cool stuff. And what time is it? It's only five o'clock and it's getting so dark. Now, remember what I said about we working, uh, we work only gets an area that's growing. Look at these cranes. You see one, two, three, there was cranes back there. Now, when these folks commit to build a building, they do a bond issue. So all the money, even money for overrides is there because no city wants to have a skeleton of a building half built. They, they will not even prove you unless you are abundantly financed for that. So whatever's going to go up, even if we have a recession, it's still going up. Huh. That was torn down, so the building's going there. They tore down what, there was a gas station on that corner, that's gone. What you see over there is Piedmont Hospital, which is like growing like crazy. And this building has been here forever. Wow, well, I have not been over here in a long, long time, so I didn't know all this was happening. Very, very interesting. Now we're almost out of Midtown. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. Notice how big it is compared to downtown. Notice how luxurious it is. Notice how much money is in it. It's just real interesting how that keeps being the theme. I think P. Diddy's Club is there. I think that used to be Justin's. And now it's um, a Houston's. I'm not sure. Maybe I got it wrong. Or that it's around here somewhere. I don't know which one. I never went. I was never so inclined to go. All right. And whoa. All right. I didn't want to run into them. Now that's an older condo that you can actually. They're pretty big. They don't look like much from the outside, but you can get like 1,500 square foot, 1,700 floor pans, two two bedrooms. So here in midtown some of your best deals are your older condos because they have bigger floor plans like much bigger floor plans and they're cheaper you know so if you can deal with a building that may not be aesthetically pleasing on the outside you can more than make up for it on the inside Yes, we're still in Midtown. <laughs> and we're gonna come across some very nice buildings. And see, I'm kinda heading home. So that's why I came this way. Together. That's funny. And Peachtree Walk. Now the houses off to the side street are usually very character driven, they're very expensive even to rent. Uh, you're gonna rent one, you're gonna be looking at two to four grand, seriously. Yes, we're still in Midtown. I know it's kind of crazy. Now these buildings here are uh, not that one, but this one, they're million dollar condo, nope. Where is it? Where is it? Because I looked at it. Because I was like, I, I really want to move down here. Now, these are pretty reasonable. The 2460 Peachtree Apartments. Um, is there a bus ahead? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Because as you come up here, you run across them. Okay. It's, not, it's these that are about to come up to the left. These suckers are a million dollars a piece. And I think this is where the rich people from Buckhead and West Paces Ferry, they come because, you know, if you're older, 
living in a one unit apartment, one level apartment, well some of them are two, with no stairs and I don't know what used to be there but it's gone. They tore something down and I guarantee you they're gonna build something. It's gonna be at least 20, 20, 15, 20 25 stories. I don't know if that's a residence. I think it is. I think it is. All right, so this building here on the left, not the first one, but the one behind it, those condos are pretty reasonable and they're huge. And yes, we are still in Midtown. Crazy, isn't it? Now those are residences over there. And here, that one building that you can barely see to the left, that just kind of sticks out by itself, that is, um, hold on, let's see what he's gonna do. That's called the Madison. They have a co-op. You can't move in there unless they approve you. And they are nice. They are super nice. All right, now this is East Wesley. There's a nice, really, well, no, that school isn't there anymore. I don't know what's there. Uh, we're about to exit Midtown. Crazy, isn't it? Kind of boggles my mind. And then we're going to get into Buckhead. Which is very, very different. Alright, so this kind of concludes this tour of downtown to Midtown. If you want to move to Atlanta and you, you like that gritty city feel. If you want to deal with some stuff in downtown, you can get a deal. Uh, beginning of Midtown, you can still get a deal. Moving over here, um, you're gonna have to go for the older condos, or if you wanna pay 2,500 for a two bedroom, one bath house, maybe three grand. Yeah, we're officially now in Buckhead. And this is a whole different, this is a whole different video. This is a whole, a whole different video. I, I, I will just not even get into it now. This is if you come into Atlanta with some money. This if you got about 30, 40 grand saved, you got a job. Yeah, this, this is where you can do this. Now, with that said, this place there is really cheap. <laughs> it's really small, but it's really cheap. All right, so if you want to see more Atlanta videos, because uh, I'm going to do a lot more, because uh, there's a lot that I want to talk about, just go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.